Various departments of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs were brought together for a five-day workshop on monitoring and evaluation and data analysis. This capacity development exercise was facilitated by CAFA with a focus on improving accountability and transparency as it pertains to the implementation of various projects and programs throughout the ministry. CAFA's monitoring and evaluation specialist, Patricia Smith Cummings, says the data collected will assist in better implementing programs, build capacity, health interventions, and policy making. The CAFA specialist spoke on some of the expectations coming out of the exercise. Based on the modules that have been presented um, this week and the group work that the participants are doing, um, we expect, of course, um, to have you know increased knowledge as it relates to monitoring and evaluation. There's a component you know that's also really important, and that is data appreciation, and that is not a component that is always included. But it really helps um, individuals, regardless of where they sit, um, within the broader, uh, I would say, Ministry of Health and the health programs, to, um, I would say, be able to, uh, to see exactly their contribution to the overall improvement of data, to the overall improvement of health information and strategic information. A wide range of participants from various departments within the ministry attended the workshop. Corporate Planning's Heidi Kodra Jagannath says she is looking forward to better grasping the concept of data collection. At the end of the five days, I'm looking to learn the principles of monitoring and evaluation, how we can integrate it um, to understand how programs run and so we could get our desired outcome. Project coordinator at the Ministry of Health, Jeanette Louis Hughes, described the ongoing session as timely. The World Bank provided funding for us to implement two significant projects, the Health System Strengthening Project and the OECS Regional Health Project. Both of these projects are expected to make significant changes and improvements within, for the delivery of healthcare services. So on um, pursuing that workshop where we focus on monitoring and evaluation where we, we really zoom on the impact and the outcomes of those projects is quite timely. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Glensford Joseph spoke highly of the sessions. This so far has been very, very exciting. Um, while I would have had significant knowledge in the area of monitoring and evaluation, the team from CAFA would have brought a new dimension in the way they deliver the information so that persons from all level can appreciate the concept of monitoring and evaluation and its importance in the delivery of the various programmatic areas within the Ministry of Health. The session included a hands-on aspect where participants were expected to identify new programs and also suggest improvements for others. And while St. Lucia is the first country to benefit from the training program, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dominica and Grenada will soon follow. Reporting for the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.